Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to review the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, the one that looks like this. I've heard so many things about how great it is and I wanted to try it for myself. I wanted to see if it's really that great of a gripping, hydrating primer that I've heard so much. I wanted to show you guys on a regular day like today that I'm going to go to work, do a wear test, come back and see how I look. And hopefully I don't look a hot mess because us regular people that have full-time jobs need some stuff that's going to hold our face together for 12 hours. You know what I mean? So I, if you saw my last video, I just purchased this um, in the Sephora VIB sale. So I am excited to wear it. I have it on. So if you're interested in seeing how this entire day goes with this bad boy on, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do post weekly beauty videos. And without further ado, let's get started. So like I said in my previous videos, I bought this because it's just been all over Instagram and YouTube talking about how great it is and all. I wanted to try it on my very oily skin. And like most people, I wear my makeup about 12 hours. Realistically, I don't have my makeup on for five hours for the most part, unless I'm going out at night. And that's just another whole set of other rules. But when we're talking about the daytime, we want something that's gonna last like forever, you know? It is a hydrating makeup gripping primer formulated with hemp derived cannabis seed extract and blue agave extract for all day hydration and hold. Cannabis. If you don't know, Milk Makeup does a lot of their makeup with cannabis and cannabis related items. So if you're not into that, sorry, but I'm from LA. We're used to that. I don't like smoke or anything. Okay. But just saying, just saying. So the way to use it is pump one or two shots in the back of your hand. All right. In the back of my hand. That's kind of a lot. I did one and a half. Put it now on face and it's supposed to i've seen it that it says that it grips it feels very like jelly like although i have oily skin i've really been loving hydrating primers because i don't know i feel like i've been looking a little dry and crusty although i have oily skin oh yeah look you see oh it is tacky okay okay they didn't lie i don't want to put too much because i did see that if you put too much, it gets like weird and globby. I feel like it smells kind of like clay or like Play-Doh, something that I've smelled before. So it claims a shot of blue agave holds makeup all day for super fresh finish. All right, let's see if this lies because I am doing a wear test and I'm gonna get home hopefully around six, seven. So we'll see. And this is how it looks. And it looks like this. I love, I'm a sucker for clear packaging. I love clear packaging. I just think it's so pretty. It's literally been a minute. So I am back. I am going to go in with my trusty foundation that I know are going to work all day. And we're going to see how this Prima works. So I'm putting both on my hand and I'm mixing it with this brush. And I'm going to put a thin layer on. It also says it's a hemp derived cannabis extract, blue agave extract, activated all day hydration and hold. It is oil free, silicon free, gluten free, cruelty free, parabens free, and vegan. So I'm using these very matte foundations. And so far I do see some hydration peeking through, which I like because... I'm not trying to look crusty dusty. When it comes to primers, I also, I also do see if my pores peek through because I like, that's the reason why I use primers is because my pores could get really big. So I know primers usually help with that. Hopefully my pores don't come out yelling, but so far it looks good. Let's get closer. This is how my skin looks with only foundation on. Not bad. And look, there is a bit of a sheen. So, which is what I want when I am. Lately, that's what I've been wanting. I haven't been really wanting the matte, matte look. 
let's back up a little i am going to put concealer powders and all that stuff and i'll be back all right guys i am back so i put the rest of my face on i made sure to put a decent amount of setting powder and a good amount of actual setting powders so i'm not completely greasy because i do have oily oily skin so this is how i'm looking right now definitely giving me the hydrated look that i want so so far so good it looks like the makeup went on very smoothly i do like how the foundation let me back up a little i do i did notice that the foundation did go on very smoothly i put one thin layer so i don't make it too cakey or anything so yeah this is how it's looking let's get a closer check i put a little bit of highlight too so i don't look really greasy I feel like i went like way in on bronzer but i try to tone it down so you know anyway right now the time is 8 34 it is the morning time i'm actually on my way to work hopefully i'm not late because i'm gonna be running out of here like a bat out of hell so it is 8 34 i'll do two check-ins today to see how it's looking and yeah i'll see you guys back in three two hey guys i am back it is about two o'clock so i've had the primer for now about five and a half hours and this is how my face looks it looks very dewy it doesn't look greasy besides my nose but i mean that's gonna be the thing with my with my nose Oh wait, I double parked. There's someone right behind me. Okay, so I really like how my skin looks. It looks pretty flawless. And yeah, this is how I am looking and I will see you guys back in three, two. Hey guys, I'm back. It is late. Well, not that late, but it is almost seven o'clock. I've had the Milk Hydro Grip Primer now for about 11 hours. So this is how my skin looks. I'm pleasantly surprised on how it looks because it is greasy, but I feel like I have more of a shine of, I have more of a glow than dull grease, you know? My nose is just a mess, but it's been a mess since I did my first check-in, so we're gonna kind of ignore that. I need like some cement or something on my nose because nothing really works with it because it's just that greasy but look at my forehead it just i have i feel like i have a glowiness than the you know nasty greasiness that you pretty much have after 12 hours what do you guys think do you guys think it held up well i personally think it did hold up well i don't see any breaking and i don't see anything out of the ordinary let me get closer I'm like way far. So this is how it looks. This is how my skin with the primer looks. Not bad. Not bad at all. I did powder extremely well because I'm really rooting for this product. I really do feel like the primer did grip the foundation because there isn't any breakage and there isn't anything like crazy going on. My pores do look larger but they always look larger at this time. That's the only thing I can complain, but this is not, it's not, it doesn't say pores. It does grip the foundation and it's a dewy finish. It's a hydrating finish. So I'm definitely, I wasn't expecting to be matte. I was more so expecting to see how the foundation actually held literally onto my skin. Did the Milk Hydro Rip Primer hold the foundation? I think it really did. And I was really checking my skin. Let me back up. I like don't, I don't, I don't like to talk like so close up because I just feel like I'm invading your privacy. But yeah, so I feel like the foundation, the primer did grip well. I am greasy, but what's new? I'm, I'm an oily girl. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, so. It just, it is what it is. I like it. I didn't tell you guys what the price is. So for 1.52 ounces, it costs $30. 0.33 ounces, it costs $15. But that thing literally looked like a sample, like I told you guys in my haul video. So yeah, I really think this is very worth the $30 if I'm looking like this. At this point, I'm just done fighting with my oils. Like I'm not going to mattify my face 
and I'm just going to be oily. Might as well just start off with a little bit of hydration and oils and we'll see how it goes. I mean, that's how I'm kind of feeling at this point. This is it. And I actually want to tap my face with a dry beauty sponge to absorb some of the oils and we can see how the skin looks. And I'm actually going out, so I need to tap my face. So after tapping my face, let's get close again. See, there's no break. There's no separation of the foundation. So I really think that it did grip. The primer really, really did grip the foundation. Held it all the way into her boots. So yeah, this is the final wear test of this primer right here. I'm really happy I did this. This was my first time doing a wear test and an all day wear of a primer let alone a hydrating primer because I'm a matte. I usually stick to the mattes, you know? So yeah, I really liked it. I'm definitely going to wear it tomorrow. I'm really excited. And yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along for the ride today. Let me know your thoughts on this Milk Makeup Primer. Will you guys buy it? What did you think? Let me know. Let's keep a combo going. And yeah, that is all. Thank you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye! Do I have crumbs in my mouth?